all I hear is last Sunday this and last Sunday that. A what about this Sunday? Last Sunday, we had cars blown up. We had people slagging hats. We had betrayals, tag team matches. We had Big TN. We had the hell hatch slagging default style. But that's in the past. That's last Sunday. That's last Sunday. What about this Sunday, chat? What about this Sunday? This Sunday. All I know is B O K Sunday night, bro. What's your expectations for tonight's show, Alex? Oh, it's going to be just another unbelievable. I know already. Hell, Mango is in the ring with his big friend Dave Ed. You're just going to have to imagine their theme played and they came to the ring. We were fucking robbed last week. But as a <laughs> madman once said, hello, Mushroom. As a madman once said, when the seagulls follow the trawler, it's because they think the sardines will be thrown into the sea. <laughs> Thank you very well, that's, much. That's, that's very true, Darren. He's speaking, he's speaking, like, speaking wisdom there. Alex, Dave Ed, a green grunt. <laughs> Me. No, no, Mushroom, you're, you're, you're at the top of the card. Just, that's, that, that's, the first, that's the first segment. All right, we're straight in, straight in, grievances. Now, it's going to be an exciting night for everyone tonight, Darren, General Manager. Oh, hello, and welcome to BOK Sunday Night Brawl with me, Alex, live from the EX Shopping Center. Mysterious words from Hollow Mango there still clearly hurt from last week's defeat. I'm sure we will hear from Darren and John... Later on. But in tonight's show, we have some great matches and also the second quarterfinals of the Midcard Madness Tourney. I also hear that our main event will be John T. Morgan versus Master Dave in a non-title match. Also, I had to get a bus here today. Fuck whoever blew up my potato last week and also my car. <laughs> If you're wondering where Darren is this week, he will not be commentating this week. <laughs> and there will be a special commentator this week. This week. Who will be this week? Mark Riley, welcome in. You're just in time. Who's the special commentator? That's who I want to know. Well, I already know. I booked the show. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about John booked the show. Ah, sorry. Bon- John booked the show. It's brilliant, Alex, because even you don't know who that is. <laughs> could it? Could it be? Is it? Wait, is that? What is, is that he, really? What's he doing what's here? Good, what's he doing here? Unbelievable! I hope, I hope CJ is still watching because uh, I'm about to. Uh, I'm about, he's going to get his mind blown. I hope. <laughs> Hello, I'm Willie Pierce, Super li- Lucha Libra Heavyweight Champion, and Mister Sweatshop has allowed me to come be the guest commentator just for tonight. Check out twitch.tv forward slash behold the CJ for a, more adventures of me. <laughs> That's right, Alex is a crossover episode. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, CJ's character on his. Uh... Well, it's good to have you on commentary, Willie. I mean, it's, it's a long drive from the other from, from the other promotion. The other promotion. <laughs> we booked him just for tonight, Alex. I hope there's a, a, a start of a wonderful cross promotion between between a, b- b- both of our companies. Tonight, Welcome to the show, Willie. How's it going? It's been great. <laughs> it's been great here, Alex. It's weird to be in such a small arena again. It's been years. What? <laughs> Alex and Norris Willie Snade Raid comment. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we had a few matches back in our indie days. Vaguely. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our first tag match: Mark Big TN versus Lieutenant Easy. Two feuds in one match. I, I think you're fine, Alex. That's less than three. That's less than three. Yeah, no, Lieutenant Easy. Two feuds, one match. What great booking! <laughs> Here we go. Our first match of the night. Is the is the sound playing for you all? Use? Can you hear? Can you? Like, we'll see in a second. You, you, there was supposed to be like booing and cheering and all that there. Don't know. You, did, you had trouble with it last week as well, but not the first. I'm working. I, I can hear Shawn Michaels. Okay. Go. Who's this? It's the most handsome man in Wales, oh, Mark Riley. That's the most. That's right. That's the most handsome man in Wales right there. And he's in the Wales mobile. 
You can hear all of Wales scream out in joy at his visage. <laughs> Sexy boy. Wow, he's making that ring look look like worthless dirt underneath <laughs> his magnificent form. He's just so handsome. He is. I mean, I'm very I'm very secure in my position at the commentator's desk, but he's making me he's making me antsy just walking about with his stupid handsome face. <laughs> He may be coming from my college position. Look, I'm respecting the the, the ring. No, look but, at that uh, pencil neck geek with the microphone beside handsome Mark Riley. I don't, I don't think, I don't think this is a, a, a tag team formation tonight. I think they're just working together against uh, like two evils. Are you ready? And his partner. Here he comes, Big TN from Parts Unknown. The Dominator. Now, they say Big TN hasn't really had too much of a good go of it over the last couple of weeks, Willie. <laughs> but um, we'll see if he's able to redeem himself in this position now. Martin looks confident now with like his partner there. Yeah, I guess he's happy to know that someone less attractive than him is coming to the ring. <laughs> 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 Controversial from Alex. Well, he's obviously the well, You got Big T's not the sexiest man in Wales, is he? That's if that's a. If you want to challenge him to that, you know where the ring is, Alex. <laughs> oh, I've got my. Oh, you know me. I've got my bum shoulder. <laughs> you can tell me what to do. It's a shame for fame. Who's this coming to the ring? Lesson free. There he is, the man who claimed that he was previously the sexiest man in the Wales, but wasn't able to prove it in the ring last week. But you know, I still have to have myself wondering, Willie, what's underneath that eye patch of his? What secrets does he hold? Well, I guess I guess we'll never know, Alex. Or maybe didn't further didn't like. I don't know. That's not like that's something like I could ever be revealed. The eye patch is firmly on his face. <laughs> You can feel you can feel electricity in the ring already. The animosity between these two, <laughs> these two juggernauts of attractiveness. I really like that theme. That's Seamus's old theme. It's, it's, it's really good. <laughs> Who's this coming? It's, 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 oh, there he is. Justice. The most back backhanded, vile, almost. He'll do anything for a victory. <laughs> Man in our company. It's easy. Oh, listen to that video crowd. They have no time for him at all. No time from. No time from. No, do no, you think Casey perhaps chose the sexy, Sorry, chose the sexy song as a provocation? I think so, yeah. Hey, Casey, if you want to book this show, be my guest. If you want to create 30 wrestlers with 30 original songs, then be my guest. <laughs> and the crowd is actually, they, they, don't, they don't like looking at Hazy. And he's got he's you walked the, into the ring. And uh, Alex, you know he's, 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 uh, he's serious tonight because he's got his dad jeans on. That's true, he does. He's wearing his dad's he's jeans. Got his he's got his uh, Keep the Heat t shirt tucked in. He's got his dad's jeans on, so he's ready to play. Two no Tom foods, Fury, two right foods, down the one, ramp. Two foods, one match, I call this, Alex. <laughs> two, it's quite a two foods, one match. And is it, will this be a traditional tornado tag match? Or will this be un, oh, an nice unusual... traditional tag match. Or, wow, an untraditional tag match, okay. And off we go, lesson three. Off we go. With the kicks and the punches on Mark. Again, a little bit of oh, revenge for last week. A little DDT. Oh, it's Big Tien oh, to help his partner. Yeah. He stunned him! His, he stunned him! His hand wasn't on the ring rope there, so that was, I mean, I'm surprised the referee let him get away with that. Referee's got a bum eye. Oh, beautiful maneuver from Mark Wiley there. Handsome move, you would say. And again, there's this, and then the big TN. Oh, what's this? Oh, the big TN is, where's the ref? Where's the ref? That is completely just against the rules. The, goofballs. the referee's turning a blind eye to that. And though Mark Riley is hot dogging to the crowd. 
Right, LH hype, as you know, means nothing in this game. A less than three must be fuming right now. He's been he's been toyed with between Big Tien and Mark Riley, just flaunting the rules in his face. That's a bit out of character for Mark Riley. He's usually straight straight down the aisle. After ops. Oh, nice! Oh, what yeah, a maneuver! He's into him. No, after Mark's done with Lesson Free, he's not even going to be the most handsome man in the ring. Now Lesson Free, he's, he's taking out. Oh, unbelievable! He needs he needs to get the hazy now. He needs a, a moment before Mark Riley just finishes this. But and look, there's Mark Riley just in the ring now. He's, he's, and that's his what? finisher. That's his finisher. What's he doing? What's oh, the end on? Big, where's the big? Big Tien can't he wait. He's putting put Hazy on the deck. <laughs> the ref, the ref just what's the ref doing? What is going on here? And he hangs oh, comes Hazy for a bit of Mark Riley. Hazy, full of fire. He doesn't want Mark, but he'll play with him the new. Big Tien just went. Big Tien just couldn't wait. He just needed a bit of Hazy the new. He's working, working Mark Riley's shoulders there. So, uh, somebody get one of those gambling things going as well. Who do you think is going to win? I don't know, the vote thing, I don't know how to do it. Where was the mod? He's getting oh, his moves what in. What a maneuver! He's getting his moves in. They're now domi a dominating force in the ring. Hayes has got complete control of the flow over Mark Riley here. He's got, he's, he's got his, his good uh, boot cut jeans on right now. Yeah, he's got those boot-cut jeans. He's ready to play. He gave a boot-cut kick to Mark Riley's abdomen. <laughs> and there again, Mark Riley just can't get, can't get control. Hazy just has his number. He's got him. He's, he must have done his homework. And there, now there's less than threes. Just, oh, oh, and less the than threes. Getting a little bit of the big TN action in there. Do you think the referee is so used to tornado tag matches that he doesn't know the rules of a regular tag match, Darren? I'll have a or word. Willie. I'll have I think I think Darren and John should have a word with, with the referee later. He, he seems to be thinking this may be some sort of un, like custom tornado tag where people are outside of the ropes. Mark must be tired by now. He needs Mark, a he needs a tag. He needs he to needs get a tag. tag. Hazy has Mark's Mark's number. It looks like he wasn't ready to go go up against. No nice the dominant force. What a maneuver! I think uh, Big Team's asking for the tag. Look him. I think he's, 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 he's trying to say something to the referee there. I think less than three. Oh! Boof! Oh! Whoa! It's sending unbelievable! It's sending Mark Riley flying! The ropes. Missed and him. Slipped right through him like butter. Is he a chance? It's a. Oh, Mark, he's. he's oh, there's um, someone telling Less than three in the way of the camera. <laughs> After ropes again. Missed him Missed again. Him. Slip right like a butter, he like an eel. He's like a slip. Oh, oh there's less than three giving. They're going for it. In. They're going for it. Mark needs a taste Mark of his own medicine. Pen. There's Mark. Oh, a clubbing blow to the back Mark of the head. Mark needs to get this, uh, hot, uh, this hot tag. This is his chance. Oh, 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 oh right on the right. This is Mark, Mark needs Mark. to take advantage of this. Mark he can't take be his tag. He needs to be tagging right now. We're hazy. Crazy, gets more blows in. He tag. What's the big he's TN? Attacking big the, the pair of them. He's tagging himself in right now. Just tag yourself in the big TN. Nice Some reversal. Oh. oh, wonderful, wonderful. And there, the, all right. There's the hot tag. Hot tag here comes in. He's furious. He wants it. He wants it. He's tagged back up. He did. What the hell? Mark Lee's not done. What was that? Now, now this is what happens when you're not a, an established tag team. These kind of things come up. They're a mess. They're a mess. They're, they're, they want the glory all for themselves. Oh, you can hear, I think, less than three saying, not so handsome anymore, are you, Mark? Oh, big words. Looking down on him from his prestigious height. Well, Hazy does all the work. Hazy is a workhorse this match. He's un he doesn't even look tired. He's unstoppable. He's came and dominated, but it's because Mark Riley used his finisher on less than three, and he's that left himself true, yeah. open. They're not, as you say, they're not attacking. Oh, these horrible, horrible blows! Just blame no, he's, him. He's some sort of force told. Oh, force told oh! Like, oh I'm seeing. Oh, he's so red. The, he's bleeding. Oh, Mark, oh, Hazy! He's this gone is, for it. Oh, a sickening display. Of, it's his funny shot. Oh God! This Mark could be Riley over. This could be over now. It looks like Lesson Free doesn't even do anything. Two, 
Three. It's over. And that is Hazy just cleans up both of the competitors. Hazy was just dominant there. He was just dominant. Do you know what I really love? Cheeseburgers with gherkins on it. Big massive ones. Well, boy, how do you listen to this, Emily? What's going on here with Cowboy Scott and Emily? We'll come back I, to the backstage. I'm from the land of cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers the size of your head. And the gherkins. <laughs> the size of small babies. It looks like Scott's in taste, Emily, with the gherkins and cheeseburgers there. I wonder what will happen with that, Alex. <laughs> I mean, you he, he talking her language right now. <laughs> Still on that mark match there. He, he he wanted to take them both one and he he did do the tag, but then he wanted back in. I don't know what happened. Miscommunication. It looks like Scott might have curried the fan, or should I say cheeseburger? Alex, none of that made sense. <laughs> yes, it did. Does Emily have a cheeseburger gimmick? <laughs> Here's the next thing. <laughs> Perhaps, maybe, um, Mark didn't want to let uh, the big TN in the ring after his flagrant disregard for the rules he's worried about getting DQ'd. I don't know. Well, I, it, was, it was interesting. Yeah. Look, we'll see how it pans out. Now, well, here's Jay, who lost last week. I'd like to say, even though I lost the mid-card madness tourney, I was glad to get the chance to show what I can be. That's all I wanted to say. Oh, that it's, looked, very, it's very, very nice of him there. Very gracious, very gracious. Very, great, very gracious indeed. You know, there has to be losers. So, Jason, thank you. And wait, I can feel that. Can you feel a chill in there? Oh, the ingress it's, it's, it's dropped a few degrees in here. What's so going I on? I can feel like a chill in there. What's going on? What's that? That's unusual. Why, why would that, that, can't, that doesn't happen. Who's that? Wait, what, what's going on? Who's no. that? No, 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 no. It can't be. How like, did you get back in? That's what's a Jenkins? Uh, Jay! You've been banned from this arena. You've been banned from getting out of here. Get her out of here. Look, no, leave him alone. Jay, watch no. out. Watch out. Oh, oh my god! My god, no! She. Jay! He's, he's dead! Call security! Call security! What's Get it? that wizard out of here! God, was it. Uh, was it Jenkins who just killed Jay right in front of us? Well, send it to some dark realm at least! What's going on there? How did Wizard. Wizard's been banned from this arena! She's not allowed in! How did she get in? I thought a, a wizard's shield was put up. What the fuck was that? Said Willie, Willie Pierce. <laughs> Looks like Wizard Jenkins has done something to Jay. <laughs> Real voodoo shit. <laughs> My god, what was. What the fuck was that? I'm going to have to call the shaman and, and get a refund for that wizard shield. <laughs> <laughs> Banned for the arena? They, they were here last week, so there must be some kind of tunnel. I don't know how to do it. As part, of as part of Team CB, do you have my back? And what's Trevi Matt saying to this? He's thinking about it. He's hot, he's hot dogging a bit. No problem. I've got you covered. That that Yankee Doodle has gone down. Yankee, Yankee Doodle, is, Doodle. <laughs> is an interesting term. I wonder where it comes from. I'll Google that later. <laughs> well, man. I was here down at the ring, but to be okay saying that we're all, we've taken, we've shaken a bit to record here. Oh, here's the general manager come out to talk. First thanks to Willie for doing his turn and helping us out. But to business, we're the best tag team in the company by a mill, but we love a challenge. So tonight we'll have a tag match for the new number one contenders for the tag belts. Tough cheese, brothers of desolation. You had your chance and you fucking blew it. <laughs> John, could you tell the people our next announcement? That's supposed to be John, by the way. Martin, you big beautiful bastard, come into the ring. We have something for for you. And the crowd are not liking this. No, the, the video crowd do not like that at all. Martin, for being a crow, a big loyal, uh, a big loyal bastard. Here's the C R C R A Z Z Y belt. <laughs> And crowd, they're just, they're no liking this at all. I mean, this, this nepotism at show here. See where loyalty gets you, Hollow Mango. Mark, Mad Martin. Alex. Thanks, bosses. <laughs> I'm a big mad man, and I will be proud. 
Look where loyalty gets you, Hollow Mango. Look where loyalty gets you. Hollow oh, Mango. Oh, Hollow Mango and chat. We were robbed. Yeah, a couple of crooks. And there's Martin with the C R A Z Y belt. He's got that C R A Z Y belt. There he's got it. He's... And there's John, there's John, there's the booker, there's the pencil behind the ring, it's the CFO of the company. He got... makes the decisions. And that's it. Only the BOK crew have got a belt, as is tradition. That's very quick, I mean, I guess. You know, it pays to know the boss, doesn't it? Or Alex, to be the boss in this case. That stinks of John booking. What like you could have had with Hollow Mango. It's Hollow Mango's music. What's he wanting? He's come out. He's came out. He's very brave. I want you or John tonight, Darren, you fucking buffoons. No problem. Me or John, we'll see you tonight. In a cage match. <laughs> Gavin's... Wait, wait. He's accepted, didn't even think of it. Didn't even flinch. He, that's where he likes to be in the cage. Sounds good. Sounds like he was born in the cage. Sound, sounds good. See you tonight. I love it. Watch this up. <laughs> He's a sad figure walking in the back. <laughs> Look at those two crooks. You can't trust him. Who knows what shenanigans is going to happen, Alex? Who knows? I mean... It, the amount of times Hall Mango would be attacked backstage is unreasonable. <laughs> we really need some better security in this arena. <laughs> That's some hot action book for tonight. A new belt and more tag action. Aye, that's hotter than your car and potato from last week. A sad look on Alex's face. And now, and now sorry. Cowboy Scott versus Ryan Consylvania and his oh. famous hat. Oh, what's going to go on here? This is their first official match because last week yeah. it was sanctioned, but it wasn't a real match. It was just a backstage brawl. It was just a fight that John let happen. Oh, that sounds like sounds like ah, uh, Ryan for CB's coming there to the ring. With his famous hat. And the CB, the famous CB bike. <laughs> that everyone knows about. And there he goes. I mean, he dominated last week. Cowboy Scott didn't really stand a chance. Perhaps his new alliance he's been making in the backstage will give him some new confidence in this in this slog about with Ryan's famous hat from Pennsylvania. Look at the sheer arrogance for Ryan here. Showboating. They, they no not wearing socks or shoes while riding the Pennsylvania bike. That's where he puts all that Twitch money, Alex. That's where he puts all that Twitch money. And he's world, he's world famous hat and bike maintaining both. <laughs> and they're very expensive to upkeep these two valuable items. This is a big like the great ascension of ever had. Why did it's, I need to the, ride? The music's so good. Yeah. It's a it's a Santino Morella's music. Ah, oh, that what it is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Such a good entrance. I love it. Wow! Wow! The showboating on display. So some say showboating is allowed considering how how dominating he's been in the ring in the past. Well, he's, he's looking confident. He's looking confident. He did, he did all right in the rumble as well. And here he is, Cowboy Scott. He's one of the veterans on the show, Alex. He's one of the veterans. He's been here a while. You know, while he have been looking after his um, favorite hat, although it has no fame associated with it. He does love that hat. He's also wearing some boot cut jeans. Perhaps these will give him strength like they gave Hazy. Yeah, Hazy was on fire. Uh, he's looking confident. He's looking confident. Yeah. And you must be you must be feeling a little bit, you know, maybe some nerve in the back after the pummeling he got in the hard concrete last last week in the backstage, right where we keep our our water and fruit. That one, that fan there, that that, that that fan there has gone wild. You see her? I see, I see that fan is that one fan is going wild. Uh, got a Scott Mark in the crowd. There's he's he's fired up now. He he can't lose this match, there. And if he lost this, I don't know if there's any coming back from it. If, if Scott wins this, I'm going to go buy myself a pair of boot cut jeans. We can start to pull off the Scott look. Alex, there was 40 songs and that was the one that sounded most like Cowboy Pussy. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can 
give him Jack Swagger's one. We, and they're out the gates. And we're off. Oh! Oh, and, oh, and a, a clubbing. Oh, a heavy he blow from Cowboy Scott. Smashing right. Oh! Oh! Didn't even feel it. Like a juggernaut. Ryan just returned like a colossal blow to Cowboy Scott's chin. And those small seeking blows. He's, he's just, These two might be the strongest pure strikers in BOK Sunday Night Brawl there. And, he's just high. Really? He's high on, uh, like, hat powered energy. Ryan look is. At, look at, just the blows melt off of, of Ryan. He, he doesn't even feel. Oh, it is That's Emily, Emily doing running. Well, she's running, running down the ring. Is she going <coughs> to cover Scott's back? Is it the promise of the, those baby sized gherkins as uh, enticed her to help Scott's side? Possibly. Yeah, she looks like she's oh, she's saying, I can hear her saying, come on, Scott. Uh, yeah, I can hear her. It looks like Ryan has been distracted by the second threat in the ring, giving it like, Scott Cobb has got an opening to take advantage of. And oh, then more of those seeking blows from pure striker Ryan with his famous hat. Oh! oh. And more strike, oh, he's, his, his style, oh, it's just heavy blows and knee and elbow strikes. Oh, nice from Scott oh. there. That's a nice clash from Scott. Emily, Everyone's favourite move. Emily getting involved on the side of the ring there. She, she might get, might get, uh, get the match to, to cut us qualifying. But she's not careful. Be careful. I mean, the referees have not been uh, too familiar with the rules recently. But now Cowboy Scott is taking advantage of this of this distraction. You have out have so I can't see the screen. There we go. It's a bit for Scott. Scott's looking dominant. Scott, Scott's... he's doing good now. He's got, oh, nice twisting net breaker. Mm, wonderful maneuver. Scott's looking in control right now, I'd say. No, I say Ryan is, is, is henching, is displayed. He has to keep an eye on Emily at all times. As we saw last week in our match with Nico Denny, that she's got explosive energy and power that he has to watch out for. Nice bulldog there for Scott. Ryan's, Ryan looks like he, he could take this, but he's, he's already you know, low on energy. He, he only has, oh, and they're seeking both. Reversal for Scott. Scott. He's got, he's got, he's got the momentum. Running DDT. Oh, what a maneuver! No, yes, Scott definitely has the momentum. No, Ryan's in trouble. Oh, I rake. Is the referee blind? A hat rake. A hat rake. A brim pull down. And another twisting. Oh, wonderful. Scott's just dominating. Now, Ryan's in trouble. No, he's going to have to get the momentum back now, or he'll be, he's going to lose this match. Oh! Unbelievable! This could be it. One, one, two, two, three. Oh my Are God! You... Where was Trippy Man? Where was Trippy Man? Trippy Man said he had his back. Fact. Doesn't look like he has back anymore. Doesn't look like he's back. No. Looks like Emily's support helped Scott get through that. I, I, before Emily got there, Ryan was it was in tight control. But, but once she was there, he, his attention was divided, and Scott was able to cap capitalize on the weakness. And it's, uh, it's one note to, one note to say, uh, Cowboy Scott. He's got the momentum now. But I don't know if this is the last we've seen in this. You know, Ryan famously has his pride, and I don't think he's going to take this one lying, Ryan down. Did you I'm like that, the, Willie? I, I love that. Uh, I also love the power of cheeseburgers. Uh, was enough to sway Emily. Poor Ryan, just he looked like he. The, he looked. I don't know. I think the Emily running just distract, distracted him. It, it right? distracted him. It looked yeah. like his heart was broken. What a match that was! They battered the shit out of each other. Has Emily been charmed by cheeseburgers? Here's the number one contender tag match. My Michael Cole. <laughs> You're sitting Darren, in... am I am I Michael Cole? You're sitting in your seat. <laughs> Alex, somebody's got to be Michael Cole. <laughs> I don't know if it has to oh, be. Oh, here we go. It's oh, it's oh. their section. It's a new firm. Was it wise to eat scram before our big match? Don't eat with your mouth, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, Alex, <laughs> don't eat with your mouth. <laughs> Some of Umar's famous advice. <laughs> oh dear. So, who, so, so we know Medi, we know the new firm are in this, but who who are they up against? 
and our Vasari attack team time. <laughs> they are the new firm. They are the new firm. One set, two sides of Glasgow form coming together to form a new firm. They put their their differences aside to kick ass in the ring. This feels amazing. Looking confident. No. I'm confident, and now hopefully everyone today will see what an actual cohesive tag team looks like. I know a lot of the fans say that the new firm should be the champions from the start, and that they've been held back by management. Well, who are afraid of their progressive messages? Well, I, I'm, I'm for a different company, so I don't know anything about that. Oh, and here they are. It's Rabbit and Big Ian, big and small. Again, small. Here they come in their debut tag match at BOK Sunday Night Brawl. Both both tag teams are looking confident. But was it wise to eat Scran before a big match? That is true. I mean, and did and and we did many heated advice and not eat with his mouthful. Well, you should never eat with your mouthful. That's just ridiculous. Well, big and small looking a little bit sheepish here, going up against such an established tag team. A little bit of maybe nerves getting them to them. Perhaps a little oh. ring rust. You know, they've just, uh, it's a, it's a really formed tag team. They're, they're getting, just feeling, each, feeling the, 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 the water. Just dipping their toe into the tag thing. I'm, I'm interested to see what they do here. It's their, it's their big debut. It's both, it's both their, their, their tag debuts, isn't it? It is, I believe so, yes. Because both both these teams weren't on the the show, they didn't have a match last week. Do Although the new firm has been a long since established tag team in the Indies. Certainly true. That's certainly true. They they once they once toured all the regions of Scotland, winning matches from Ayrshire to Dumfries to Galloway to Galloway, <laughs> and then back again. Here we go. This is for the number one t- contender match. Off they go. Umar against uh, Big Ian. Big Ian. And the the test of strength there. Big Ian's a big machine. Look at those arms. And Umar, a, t- a technical but also strong Whoa! wrestler. Whoa, Showing wonderful. his dominance. And there, he's taking control now early. He, know, he, knows, he knows how to structure a match when he's working in a tag arena. And those, again, here we go. Left in is about such strength. Lifting's about strength and technique, and uh, do- Double Worth here looks like he's got both. Ian's looking right. very unconfident. Rabbit's trying to grab him. Trying to protect Big Ian there. there but for Umar. He's Ian's but Rabbit's there. Rabbit's open. Rabbit's, Rabbit's got Riff Double Worth. And then, the, oh, a heavy blow to his abdomen. If BOK can't sort out their referees, it's just going to have to be tornado matches for here. <laughs> tornado tag matches here on it. Oh, I know he's working on, um, on, on Umar's knee there. Trying to slow down his defense. Rabbit wants a little bit of Umar. It's like cutting a tree down at its roots. Yeah, Umar, Umar's, uh, Umar's kind of dominating here. So now let's see what, what Rabbit's got yeah, to offer. Yeah, a bit more pace. Oh! Oh, very nice for Rabbit. Very, very nice, very nice maneuver there. Such athleticism. What's this? What's this? Oh! Oh, right to wonderful face. sliding drop kick! And Omar's got the oh, answer to this pace. Careful. He was just a, he was just oh. eating speed, uh, kind of slow mo- moving pace there. Rabbit's pacey. I don't think Omar likes this. He might have sliding, to get sliding drop kick again. He's this non-stop onslaught by Rabbit. Beautiful, oh. beautiful maneuvers. Pacey, pacey. There's Medi, Medi just staring into his teammate's eyes, begging for a tag. Maybe Omar's stomach's full. Nice blow. Oh, there, nice maneuver. Oh! oh! A heavy blow. Now, perhaps he should get the tag so he get a moment to catch his breath. Come on, grab it. What damage is he going to do? Oh, right in the face. Trying to oh, disorientate there, Rabbit so she can't do her moves. You take a window to Rabbit and she loses a lot of her effectiveness. She's back in it. She's back in it. Breath control is important. Put a can of oh, uh, Rabbit. maneuver. I think Umar perhaps took a mistake there not tagging in mid to get a chance to get yeah, some air in the He had his chance there. He had his chance. Big knee. Rabbit blocked. Umar. And then, oh. Elbow in the back. Heavy, oh, a heavy blow to the back of the Oh, what a 
five was that? Unbelievable! They Again, these tag up. teams, they seem to not want to tag in their partner, even the stab. No, 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 they know. There we go, there we go. They know. They know they know what they're meant to be doing here. Now let's see Middy show his speed in wiles against Rabbit Snap. Middy's a little a bit smaller now, Mark. Rabbit might tag in Ian here. This could be. Oh! Oh, the he heavy just him. The cleave from Millie's attack hit Ian. Oh, nice. Oh. Rabbit, nice. Wonderful delayed DDT. But no, Rabbit. Rabbit might want to get in Ian then because Millie's a little bit smaller. Nope. Where's she oh. gone? Where's the flyer? A oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. What unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ah, yep. And the that's what I there thought was go. going to happen. Get the bigger man in. Yeah. Wonderful technique. And there's fear. There is fear in Middy's eyes there. Did you see that? Oh, oh these heads. The, the, the meat in Big Ian. He's like a tank of meat. He's a vat. A vat of strength. But then there's Middy's speed taking advantage of Big Ian's funkiness. And behind them. Try to keep him behind them is a good move. What's this? Rabbit's helping him. He's trying to mount him. If he can't, he's trying to wear him. This does not seem to care. Alex, he's trying to wear the bigger man down with submission moves because he can't face him face on. Do you know what I mean? That's great psychology. And there's Um. Oh, and now Um is just taking flagrant. And they're, they're both doing the, the oh, head back to the chin. Did, did referee not see that there? Yeah, referee just he was looking at the crowd. Be okay, get get gripping your referees, please. Oh, blow to the lower back. That's going to make it hard for Ian to take advantage of his power. Oh, there, there's there a there smart move. Get the man who was whooping that guy's ass a second ago. And his, his, now his lungs are filled with air, just what he likes. I'm impressed by the, the new firm, Alex. Oh, did they get all of that? Oh, a bit closely! But Ian's a smart oh. as well, bringing in who was... Oh, the psychology here! I stared they're staring in there! Each other. They're staring at each other! These two, they want, they want, they want blood! And there's... Umar's flying boot technique. Ian's been taken up. Yeah, this is Ian a chance for a pin, I'd say. Ian is susceptible to cleave damage, it seems. <laughs> nice, there, nice, a nice maneuver there. And. Yep, smart oh, move. Oh, there we go. Because yeah, he, he can't take on. He can't keep take pressure, Rabbit. Keep the pressure. But Rabbit wants oh, him, oh! Rabbit wants. He wants Doverworth. She wants Doverworth more than anything. Some Ric Flair slaps. Oh. Woo! From Beautiful the crowd. slap to the, to, the, to the plex. The, the crowd like that there, Alex. Get him. What's this? And, oh, oh, and, oh and working the leader. back. Backbreaker. Try to get Umar in to, whilst Rabbit's done. Oh, and that's you said Umar's a strength to like, put Rabbit down. Oh, what a maneuver! Nice hurt of Kanana there for a Rabbit. Some back kicks. Oh, that's my right again. Mistake. Oh, oh. We're back. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I've, been, I've not seen a lot of Rabbit since they joined the company, but I've been impressed tonight. Most conscious strikes to Umar's midsection to like reduce his overall strength. He can't harness his, his strong athletic body. But yeah, stamina has he's he's a famous running running man double. When it goes, to, oh nice, oh, unbelievable strength. There. Ian's trying to help, but he can't reach. Oh, it's a hot it's tag! It's a hot tag! tag. And Ian's come in, oh. and he's running wild. <laughs> he's running wild. Oh, my God. What's this? This is finisher! This could be it! Oh, it's Umar, he needs to get all this! No, no, oh my god! It's a world strongest slam! One, One two, two, three! And they've won it! And the referee just let Rabbit start running again. And no, was, no clearing for the rules. It Big Ian was running wild, did you see that? That was incredible, Alex. Now there was a slight glitch in the in the in the in the broadcast there where it seemed like almost like Big Ian teleported, but that didn't happen them. And the monster. Well I we go, that's number one contenders match. That one by Big and Small. Big and Small. Big did you see Big Ian the, the dominance? You see the electricity running through him. Rabbit Snap used the last their energy to get the tag. Do you see that there? Last year energy just a hot hot tag big in. So the so I believe you're gonna explain in a second, Alex, what that means. We want the crew want tables, but Alex, 
So we have our new tag, number one contenders, big and small. They will face Team Bok next Sunday at Bok Big Walk, walk in at 7 p.m. at the Hydro. Fascinating, fascinating. That's interesting. Next is the mid card shit bell, bell tourney thing. <laughs> Alex. Yes. <laughs> He's really great in you. He didn't remember. He didn't remember oh, you, that you. He's, he's, really... he's, he's not showing a lot of respect in promotion. Yeah, I'm... it's great on me. I'm not even there right now. I am sending you constant WhatsApp messages about it. But who's this backstage, Alex? You've ran up the the line. Fancy your chances of winning mid card madness, etc. I'm doing this for the people on the island. We really need those bells. Look like look like Lyra is doing this for our island back at home, Alex. That's, that's very noble of Lyra. An, there, an island that may have some kind of possible animals crossing about each other. Most islands do. Rabbit, you've just missed your match. I won't spoil anything, so just watch it. Unless people are ruining it for you right now. It was some match, by the way. No, no, no. It was a really good tag match. That's what happens when you have actual tag teams in a tag match. That's Tesco! And what is Tesco doing out here? Apparently he is... Is he, is he, did he get a card from John to him in the midweek Magnus match? I don't know how he's got a, a ticket, but he's, he's here. And I'm glad to see him. He's, he's, he's a refreshing did he, wrestler. Did he get a sandwich, a small drink, and instead of a packet of crisps, or packet of two eggs? Did he get a, mat, a, a, a shot in his match? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> John, you can imagine John backstage. Shit, I should, we should have booked that. That would have been great. Alex, sorry. <laughs> I, could have, I could have done that as well. Fuck, that would have been a good book. We only have a week. And there's Lyra coming in for, for her island. She's come to get those bells to take home up against the, the economic powerhouse, Tesco. And uh, we cut to Tesco and, and he's using the Dragon Ball Z scanner. Alex, what's, he, what's the number for Liar? Coming up and well, well, only Tesco knows, but he, he's, he's making a smirk like he thinks he can handle it. Oh. <laughs> scary, scary. Hey Mark, you've what? already missed your, your match. Wait, Mark, were you doing earlier? Did he say you were leaving? Anyway, this is Lyra. I, think, I believe this is Lyra's first match since the rum rumbus. Is it? Uh, Mark, you had you had a uh, you had a limo and everything. Wait till you see it. Watch the vod. You'll you'll enjoy it. it. Was fun. It's a good match as well. We've had to, we've not had any bad matches yet. So it's been it's been a dynamite card, and there here we go. The, the third up. match in the. In the the mid the mid card madness tournament. Lock up, but they're both oh nice from Lyra. Oh, unbelievable maneuver there from the Islander. Was that snap there? And then blow, hits to it to his unprotected ear. Trying but possibly as, as trying to damage his visor. Tesco only has one protected ear from his visor. Well, Lyra has two protected oh, ears. Oh, nice same way. So unbelievable. Slam, all the way slam is it? Stunned. Tesco stunned. A heavy blow from from Lyra there. Wonder, wonderful performance. And Tesco having a hard. Oh, oh, oh a, a, slap. a slap! The arrogance. But, that, but Lyra's ear was protected by her horns. Unlike Tesco, only has one piece of ear armor. And I'm hearing from backstage, uh, from uh, Holo Mango Gavin, that Whoa, Lyra was taught by somebody called Thomas Nook. That's her trainer on the island she's from. It's not a name I know. He's, he's not from. He's not from the local independence. Must, must be just from a like a, lo, a like a. Oh, we're going for oh, a pin. What? A, a pinning predicament. And it's a kick out. And kick out easy. Way too early from Tesco there. He took his. He took oh, his fruits to the, 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 the checkout before he had finished shopping. He's not at his uh, meal deal yet, Alex. And maybe that's why he's rushing here. Perhaps. Maybe he got uh, one of the sweet chicken wraps which aren't as good if you don't get them from Morrison's where they're superior. And it's a kick again, out. He's, he's trying to pin again. This is like very reminiscent of um, mid 2000s WWE booking. <laughs> well, when you try and pin somebody, it tires the other person out. It, it does. It's they have energy. energy to put their, put their shoulder up, unlike when they have to like throw punches and stuff. 
Tesco's got a meal deal waiting back in the... And... Oh! Wonderful the total strength there. He's gone for a pin again. I do think he was... He was... He was pinned. That's a, that's a two! Wow. Oh. It's, it's, it's working. Lyra's getting worn down by these... By all these pin attempts. I, Lyra's Perhaps energy... He's trying to get... User credit card. Lyra's energy levels must be really low. That's why he was smirking, as you said. Nice suplex there from Tesco. Now Lara needs to get the momentum back, otherwise he's going to fall to, um, to Tesco's repeated pinning maneuvers. Oh, more, elbows more, into the back. Oh, more elbows into the back. Lyra's it's not a beautiful fight, it's not a beautiful wrestling style, but it is effective what Tesco does. Whoa! And they stand corrected! What a maneuver! He's, a, he's allowing Lyra to get up. Runs right over to him. So he's running to the turn, uh, right turn. Oh, the referee getting in the way. The referee getting in the way. He's gone up. He's going up. What's he got? Lyra. Oh! Goes. Oh my God! No! 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 No way! No fucking way, man! No. The, and Lyra got straight up. And well, the, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, those rings have the density of a of a neutron star. That's Tesco in here. Oh, he's vicious! Oh, he's vicious, oh. Alex. Who could allow referee? This is vicious. Posing for Lyra. Slap. Oh, another slap. <coughs> Shaking Lyra to her core. She, she hasn't had a chance to get any maneuvers in in a long time now. I got a pinning One, predicament. Two. And that's a Whoa. kick out. Oh, that was two and three quarters. Like, this is the third quarter of the Midweek Magnus quarterfinals. And Another pin pinning with what? Tesco obsession with pins. Is it going to work? No! Oh, two and Jeez. nine eights! How is Lyra <laughs> holding on, Alex? She must be tired. She needs, she needs those bells for her island, like she told us. She needs to, she, she has family back home and needs her to win this match, it seems. Oh, oh, lovely for Lyra there. Lovely maneuver there. Finally, a, a, chan a chance. She just needs a, ch a moment to and get Tesco some of those... Tesco is stunned by that. Nice! Oh, nice wonderful. maneuver. Reverse snap mirror, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> and the turnbuckle works. No, no failing. Lyra's got some momentum. What is this? Low! Oh, beautiful. That's incredible. Lyra Inverse would come back to your... Aggie. Wonderful. Tesco oh, is famous Tesco. slap. Nice. And your pin. And right, right back into pinning. One. Lyra's energy is level too low. It's over! He's taking it! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! I've not even got my na notepad. But Tesco goes into the semi finals with Nico and Cuppy Alex. What, There's only one a, spot what left. What semi final they're, they're shaping up to be. Tesco was dominant there. Lyra did, didn't know what, what hurt her. It's a, it's a win for Tesco. Great and our great match. Lyra just wasn't he in it. Lyra, Lyra got Lyra got offered uh, a free uh, a free uh, a couch for her island and ended up getting cost over nine thousand bells, Alex. And then we've got Tesco, Val Tesco Valley saying his, catch his catchphrase, winner, winner, free quid dinner. <laughs> Hello, Tesco. It's good to have you here. Oh, Alex. That's Mushroom. That's Mushroom, you Alex, you want to win this? Mushroom, do you think you could go on to, it to win this? I hope Sinu is watching so I can show how shit hot I am in the ring. Oh! Sinner's got a fan, Alex. <laughs> Sorry, Alex, I fucked that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but it looks like Mushroom has uh, been granted a place in uh, the match. But who will be Mushroom's opponent? Is this the fourth quarter of the Midweek Magnus match? This is it. This is the last one. This is the last quarter okay. final. Whoever wins, this is going to go into one hell of a slobber knocker of a semi final with three other amazing athletes. Mushroom there. Looking confident. I'm again. A young, a, young, a young buck. To their senpai that they've got what it takes. She's a V-Rail young buck, this one. She looked confident. She got the... She got the... She got the big center uh, beats energy about her no. right now. 
A lot of other people back in wonder why Mushroom wants to, you know, su help support such a heel bastard like that Sino beats, but, you know, each to their own. But, but someone just gets seduced by his charm. You know what I mean? That's true. It's that... It's, it's, you know, he's got a hypnotic hair, amongst other, like, maneuvers. And he has there, a hatred for folks... Look. He has a hatred for small streamers. That is burning hatred for small streamers. And who's this? Who has got the last... It's Trevi Matt! Trevi Matt and has got the last spot. The question is, where is Trevi Matt mean after, you know, his promises to help Ryan for Consolvania? Did, did, did Trevi Matt not come out to help Ryan to give himself Mary Energy for this match, Alex? Yeah, maybe John persuaded him not to go out by giving him this match. Interesting. Interesting. Will Ryan come out to help Trevi Matt? Show how just how loyal he really is. Maybe we'll find out. This is with the with the state of the, the mid card madness tournament. We're, we're we're shaped up to have another amazing match. Don't you mean a amazing match? It's amazing smash in this tournament of mid card madness. And they're out they're of the off. gates. What? Oh, mushroom! Oh, what? what a maneuver! A reversal in the middle. Mushroom shown. That she's not to be fucked with, but to the back oh, and Trevi Matt. Reducing his strength by hurting his core. Because Trevi Matt's all about the nice tattoos of Trevi Matt. Oh, didn't get all that. He didn't get all that there. It was a good reversal. It was. Oh, this young oh, butt. Unbelievable. This young butt oh, is true. The pressure yes. Musher's putting on the tree. Oh, and he returned it. Back in. If, if Sinner is watching, that was some nice displays. No, Trippy Matt's got a little bit of momentum in his favour. Mushroom Very has sure done down. Mushroom a couple of punches in. Trippy with Matt. everything, with, with everything it's been up for grabs now, these two must really want to win this. So how prestigious this midweek madness tournament's becoming. Punch for him, the mushroom. Oh, Just seeking blows for mushroom. Reverse. Nice, oh. uh, the strength, the dominance. Like a juggernaut. It's, it's Cuppy. Hey, it's not. It's Cuppy. The last oh, Cuppy week. Wait a minute. Didn't, didn't Cuppy help Trippy Matt last week? Yeah, it's true. Where's, where's Ryan? Has Ryan sent copy out? Oh, a heavy blow from Mushroom. Sending Trevi Matt to the outside. Well, copy stalks and prowls on the outside of the ring. It's clear. Oh, I mean, he's distracted. Distracted by Copy. clear that Trevi Matt and Copy are in some kind of team together. Mushroom's attention has been divided between Copy and Trevi Matt. Again, this feels a bit... This is like... This is hurting the honour of the Midweek Magnus tournament. But, but Alex, Cuppy is already in the semi-finals. Are exactly. they giving each other a better chance to win? Maybe they're, they're wanting whoever they feel is the more dangerous foe to be put out here. It's called, is Ryan for CB getting a team together? There's a the referee getting in the way again. Yeah, nice for sure, Trevi Matt. No, if I was there at three, I'd be sending Cuppy out of there right now. This is this is besmirching the honor of the tournament. Stared out. Mushroom must be raging right now. Oh, heavy blow! They lock up. He's not giving up just yet. Another wonderful maneuver for Mushroom. Trevi Matt's on the ground. Mushroom just stares at him. Cuppy's out there. And mushrooms distracted. Mushrooms distracted. Trevi Matt turns. A big Irish whip. Into Very it. nice. Oh, horrible, horrifying arm drag. The mushrooms straight back up. Cuppy's interfering. Look, the referees were not looking. They got hit. Oh, head lock into a big head punch. And nice oh. thing, Trevi Matt showing his dominance. Showing his experience. The, this is a, a, a bouting joke between the two of these. If Cuppy wasn't here, how much stronger could Mushroom be looking right now? There for Trivi Matt's looking on course here. Two is this going to be two members of CV in the semi finals? That'd be outrageous. To be like, Very nice, there for Trivi Matt. Brutal. And, and Mushroom stream, screams for the ring. Out of the way, Cuppy. This is between me and Trivi Matt. But uh, will she be able to? Oh, wonderful standing missile drop. She's getting and distracted then, again. The drag by Cuppy. Oh, oh, nice. Oh. Beautiful! Oh, Next to the heat. Need to, oh, oh, nice knee Oh my god! And another one! Oh my god! Oh! That was, oh and he rolled out of that one to get all that. The Trevi Matt's back. Cut. The arm twist into another arm twist. Oh, beautiful maneuver. 
Mushroom, she's on the ground. Oh, oh, she's in trouble. No, that's oh, very nice to oh, Kirby, man. Wonderful. You know, he, he doesn't want the pin. Thing. He wants to punish oh, Mushroom. He doesn't want Mushroom coming back for more. He wants how dangerous she can be. They've locked up. Having seen, having a taste for athleticism. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful maneuver there. Shroud like that one. The Cubby's looking a little bit frightened. It looks like Cubby doesn't want the Mushroom to go into the tournament either. It'll lower his chances. Oh, wonderful attack. Trebby Matt's in trouble. On the ropes, he's... Oh, and another heavy again. blow. And there's Copy trying to get in the ring again. Mushroom, pause it, pause it. she's pausing. She's not taking any chances. If she goes out of that ring, Copy's going to, you know, yeah. descend upon her like a hyena. She's been distracted by Copy again. There's Trebby Matt's Matt looking oh. at... Trebby Matt was looking heavy a little worse for wear there, just... Alex. Trying to get Trebby Matt in the deck so he can't do his, his bigger mouth. Dragging him to the middle. Could this be a pin? Straight in the middle of the ring. What's, what's Mushroom planning on doing? Oh, he, he slipped out of that like a snake. Uh, a little bit of hot dogging. Very, very... Not, not a good strategy there. You can't be cocky like that right now. Trebby Matt's still oh, in this. Trebby Matt's Selling famous arm drag. And Trebby Matt may be going for the pin. He's going for, he's, is he going for a pin? No, he's, no, he's been reversed. Oh, another blow to the solar plexus. Oh, that's beautiful. That's... One of my lion tamer. It's a bit. On sword. Oh! oh! Oh my god, what a maneuver! Tra Trebby Matt is KO'd. He is Look KO'd. Look at Copy. Look at Copy. He's furious. He's distracting the referee. He's distracting the re referee, oh come on. Referee. Two. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is an outrage! This is an outrage! Send them ref, send them off the back! What is with these referees? That's like 20. Where's... This is... What when is the referees going to send them to the back? This is outrageous! I can't send even believe this. Send them out of here! Just send them! He's been sent! I think he's been sent. I, I can't... I'm gonna get in the ring myself! This is... I have my... I've never in my... Uh, one, two... But she still got it! Then it's a win! The strength of Mushroom! That was a 30 second pin! I'm here, I'm hearing... I'm hearing the, that Sinnoh might have seen that backstage and he was impressed. I mean, if I was Sinnoh, I'd be watching such a dominant force. She's really good. She's really good. There was a the dominant... Trevor Matt's a, prof a, a seasoned professional. That's a fantastic one. And These four contenders in the Midweek Magnus Tournament are all... If anything, your championship material, William. Hello, Potato Head, and hello, Biggie. Ian, you've missed, missed your match, but go back and watch it. It was a fucking belter, man. And Mushroom joins Cuppy, Nico, and Tesco in the semi final. The draw has not been made. I will explain what will happen with that on Wednesday, or maybe but Alex might do it right now. <sighs> So those were two superstars will join Cuppy and Nico on our Bok Wrestling Wednesday. For the semi-finals to decide who goes to the final mid-card Madness tournament on. Next Sunday at PvP Bok Big Lock-In. So basically chat, we're going to have a, our wrestling show on Wednesday, but no every week, just before pay-per-views. Because, well maybe we don't need to date next time. I didn't know Elimination Chamber was on a, a, a Sunday. <laughs> Like, sorry, I didn't know it was next Sunday. Anyway, next is the next is that Hollow Mango idiot against one of my good friends from BOK. Alex? Always a, always a friend. Lay off. Okay, calm down. What's this here? Dave Ed's hearing something. Grunts quizzically, Alex. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got that, says John BOK. Yeah. Yes, boss. What's this? Right, looks like David's gonna go t maybe tell uh, Hollow Mango something. What's what are they planning? You can't trust them. Alex, grunts <laughs> supportingly. <laughs> Listen, those two buffoons are up to something. I know that. Grunts caringly. <laughs> He's thinking about something. He's got something to say. Gavin, what is it you gonna say, son? There's a soda machine behind him. He's fighting about something. Don't worry, bro. I have this. Oh, he thought about it. 
he's still going to go way through with this. Because he knows it's a cage match, Alex, and Ga- and Dave Ed can't help him. He can't ca- help true. him. It's not like a cage can stop the undead monster, Dave Ed. Those d- dodgy boys are up to no good again. I wonder what. I wonder how this will go. He has no chance against Darren or John. Willie, I liked your match against Crispin Noir a few weeks ago. Flatly like that, uh, it's pushing the pool to Willie Pierce. I have enough of your shape for one night. Square go in the back. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's he's I've had it up to here with Willie Pierce, so he's got to go. You didn't even fucking remember when you were on the Indies together? What's that? And Willie Pierce is no mess now. <laughs> is it? Wally Pierce is just laying into it. Wow. Wow. And you're still recovering for that shoulder Ow. injury, Alex, aren't you? Yes. Ah, yeah. Wally Pierce has landed on the car. Alex, what are you going to do? Fucking dish them, man. <laughs> I hate other people's cars now. Willie Pierce has been riding your Ooh. ass on it, ah. Alex. I've, I've, had it up, I've had it up to here with him <laughs> disrespecting me. No, Alex has landed on the limo. Oh, nice scoop. Uh, right, scoops on. Looks like Willie Pierce has gone for the fire single shirt. But Alex gets there before he can do any damage. And Alex is... <laughs> Is dished Willie Pierce with a fucking sandwich car. Take that, you prick! Scrapes uh, Alex's back. Willie Pierce picks up a bin. Throws out the dust. Bally grabs the bin off Willie Pierce. And he's fucking. Yeah! He's fucking destroying him! I've had enough of you! Oh! But Willie Pierce gets Alex with the bin. This is the Lucha Reeb, uh, Lucha Reeb, uh, heavyweight champion. Oh! And he smacks Alex with the extinguisher. And again, Willie Pierce. He's well known for causing injuries, Alex, so you better watch yourself. My shoulder's already hurt as well. Willie Pierce picks up Alex. Elbow, sharp elbow to the face, boot to the chest. Punch to the chest. And Willie Pierce, I think I, his, How come he's won? That's outrageous. I'm fine. I can still go. He's not, what is wrong? The rest of this I'm company? Getting, I'm getting something. I, I think John stopped it. Stopped it. You're going to kill I each other. To, I was about to use my special move. I think you've, yeah, I think you've approved your point. And we cut back to the commentary. This is outrageous. You know the refs uh, called a match after everything that's uh, happened uh, tonight. Uh, I'm uh, fucking sick of you. Uh, let's look at the commentary. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> Fuck it, this is a way this match is run by clowns and a clown company. A clown company full of idiots. I can't believe you lost. You won everything in the other game. I did win it. I won it. I definitely won that match. There's no way did I lose. That guy's a champion? Why, a champion at breaking the rules? Who's this, John T. Morton? John, what is it? I would like to just say about last week. Big streamer, small, small belt, so small you can't even see it. Oh, he's he's saying that Sunu Beats doesn't even have a belt, Alex. That's, I mean, it is true, but I mean, oh. you're right, you're right, Alex. We'll get some, we'll get medical for you. Have no, it's fine. It was okay? just my bum and shoulder from my big match I had a couple of years ago. Here's John. And then John, John called the match on me. Here's John. Be okay. Let's make this interesting. If you won this cage match tonight, Hollow Mango, you can. You can have a spot in the big, the big lock-in elimination chamber match. Oh my god! Next Sunday, seven pm of the Hydro. <laughs> Alex, what do you think of that? I can't believe he's not. He's not even talking about how he just screwed me there. <laughs> That's a good chance for Hollow Mango, though. I can't believe I have no match against that shit for Brains Dave tonight. When sort of full names his style, Defox style. I'll tell you. Who, 
I'll tell you who, a real blando curl racing. That's who. First chance I get, <laughs> Alex, what? What are you saying, Alex? <laughs> in those fighting words. All right. First chance I'll get, I'll take these sandals off and whack his default brain with them. Chill out again with the cutting comments. <laughs> it's fucking like, this is laying in his head. Oh, it's so fun booking for heels, man. It's so fucking easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Two promos there for John. And and here we go. Hollow There's Mango Hollow comes Mango. to the ring. It's, it's, it's Mad Martin. I've got the money. Try and stop me now. Oh, my God. Oh, my, my God. God. He's come out of nowhere with a C-R-A-Z-Y belt. They've done it. Oh, they've screwed him oh again! God. Oh god, no! Oh, Mango, why? Roll the cage! He screams! I've got the money! <laughs> <laughs> I've got the money! I've got the money! I can't fucking believe it! Look, I think the cage is gonna get lowered now, Alex! Oh my god, it was a trap! God, I mean, David warned him! I'm not even surprised that this clown show of a company doing something like this. Everyone at the top are a bunch of corrupt pigs, Tory pigs at the top of the company. I can't believe it. Look how slow this match is. It's like this cage uh, okay, is coming down, Alice. <laughs> I mean, Hall Mango's got. He has time. He has no time to recover. May, that 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 cage is plummeting down at an unstoppable rate. He may have, he may have had enough time to recover and be ready for the match. I love how slow it comes in that, it's so good. I could, I, I could have shortened it, and I didn't, because I thought it was funny. <laughs> and here we go. Mar Mad Martin. Mad Martin. Teacher's pet. And yeah, there's Gavin. And Martin starts that strong. Here we go. Paul Mangle still trying to recover from that surprise beatdown from Mad Martin. There we go. Oh, what Whoa, a reversal! What a maneuver! And, Mar and, and he's trapped in there with Mad Martin. Matt, oh my god, he's trapped in there. No, he just needs a moment. To, he just needs to get those, that air in his lungs. And perhaps he can get a chance. A chance to stop Mad Martin's cruel, unrelenting beatdown. Wow. But if Gavin wins wow. this. If Gavin, wow. this, if Gavin can pull this off, uh, Alex. Then you can get a shot uh, at the Elimination Chamber. And if you win Elimination Chamber, you, you get a shot at, the, at Dave's title. So it's all to it's all play for here. They pushed away by the by Mad Martins. Does Mar Mad like strength. Does Mad Martin have name morals? I don't think he does. All he cares about is having the money. <laughs> if I could put that as a sign in the crowd. <laughs> Very nice food there. Uh, Hollow Mango there. Anyway, a little bit of momentum for Hollow Mango. He needs he needs every bit of momentum we can get after the weeks of beatdowns they've been receiving at the hand of the CFO and the CEO. He said he said one week of beatdowns, weeks and weeks of beatdowns. <laughs> <laughs> All this started, uh, uh, if you remember, Alex, with Hollow Mango throwing out Darren be okay out of the Royal Rumbus. This is where it all stems for. Will, the, will, will his lust for revenge not be stopped? It looks like Hollow Mango was the right to do so, considering how corrupt and cruel Darren BOK is. But if he never flung him out, all these tasty treats could have been his, don't you think? I don't think so. I think the second he got a chance to betray him like he does everyone else. Wow, wonderful strength from Hollow Mango there. Oh, and he's finally putting the pressure on the Mad Martin. Somebody's redeemed happy birthday. Begin! Happy birthday. Right? <laughs> it's the, remember the Christmas card thing I used to do, Alex? I've, I've not yeah. made it yet. Okay, I see. <laughs> Man, this is a textbook match. These two are just slowly taking each other apart. Two, two Leviathans. I'd be scared to be in there myself, Alex, with Mad Martin and Hollow Mango. I'm scared outside of the ring. He's gone for it. He's just gonna slip away like he really is. Like, yes. yo, man, 
He just has ever. There we go. Oh, heavy. His oh, weight makes it more heavily painful. Stare down there. Punch. Punch. What's that? Oh, oh man. Oh, strength. the strength. Oh, one that's powerful slam. And then blows to the knees, trying to be weak his ability to climb out the tree. No. Oh, of the course, just use that lame door if they want. That nobody likes. Yeah, he's just getting, he's taunting, he's fingering the ropes. He's, he's, getting, he's getting energy, look at him, he's, he's firing up, look at him. Powering up. The Dr. Pepper surging through Old Mango's veins. Great reversal there. Oh, oh look right there, he's got Dr. Pepper power now. Dr. Pepper power coming from Old Mango. Punch to the gut. Oh, look at this, this vigorous energy, effervescent. The crowd are asking, who are you? He's boiling over. Like bubbles out of a straw. He's furious. Martin's had the keys to the kingdom handed to him. Oh, man, he's trying to bring justice to this he's company. Too, he's he's trying to set things right. He took it and ran. But at what cost, Alex? But at what cost? Lyra, you've I mean, missed your match, by the way. Or you saw it. After ropes, Martin comes towards Hollow Mango. Throws him at this. Beautiful. Oh, Mango's feeling it. Can he's he get to, it? He, he, now he's going to start to slow and heavy climb. The oh, higher you get, the heavier gravity weighs upon their heavy frame, slowing Martin, you down. Martin's already looking a little tired. He has a bit bigger man. He is looking, and he's also taking the several attacks from Hollow Mango's furious strength. Reversal for Hollow Mango. Turns him around. What's he want? With those fling him, boat -like him That's a reversal. Oh, a tight pull down there, like a. Eel wrapping around its prey. Reversal for Ga Gavin there. Take some look at the strength for this strength. man. Strength. Oh, Dr. Pepper slam from Hollow Mango. Martin's back up. Martin looks injured. There again, effervescent strikes. The fury. Two handed filled. choke. It's a oh. double handed choke slam. Oh, bro, the strength. Again, he's energizing himself. He's filling himself up again. He's ultimate he's charging warrior. Up. He's slowly ultimate ultimate warrior warrior those fucking ropes, but just gently, gently. And there's the eel, the slippy eel Martin. Now, but he looks tired, and he look like an eel out of water. He looks like his mud. I just uh, scream, Martin, you look like a fucking toddler in those dungarees. Fucking fighting words. There's Holomango. He's in the ring as the eel slithers towards him. I haven't done of that. Holomango pushes him away. Look at his strength, the brother of desolation. And, uh, and Martin screams in chat, but uh, in the ring, Bon Anniversaire. Fighting words. But the money is his, Alex. It is true, the money is his. He has the money oh, now. Big bulldog from Hollow Mango. He has the money now, try and catch him. Can he catch no. him? Can he catch him? Every, every pull up. Can he stop gra him? Gravity is heavier and heavier, oh, he and he him. pulls him down. But now Martin goes for... Man, Martin's Slither going for the win. Slithering up the cage, like the eel he is. You might make this. That, f that fall from that heavy gravity cage has hurt Hollow Mango. But look how s the force is on, on Mad Martin. Right, he gets too much. That was tight. That was That's tight. That's like falling from low orbit, that fall. That's like falling for the sight hole flats, Alex. <laughs> have they had every been, step? Have they, have they oh, been destroyed? The gravity to... increases of every. Away from ground level. And they had been destroyed 13 years ago. I can't believe the ring is still intact after that fall. Martin might take this here. Hollow Mango's on the deck. Martin's up the top. Martin, did he get, he get it? up there? Oh my god, dude. Yes. Oh my god. He's got it. He's here. He's here. He's gone. Oh, oh my no. goodness. Oh, the ring. We're going to have to get that reinforced. And they both missed. They're slipping about like an eel. Hollow Mango's tired, but he needs this. But Martin, punches. reversal. Brilliant. Hollow Mango's in the case. A big nug lock. Big slam. Oh, Dr. Pepper slam from Hollow Mango. It looks like he's going to go for his signature. Can he get it? Can he land it? After ropes. Here it comes. He's Martin's reversed it. He's pushed him to the ground. He's on the ropes. What a reversal. Oh, pushed him into the ring. But it's a reversal for Martin. Who wants this? Who needs this? Where are they pulling these energies from? Martin gets on the deck. Ankle lock. Oh, the agony. Oh, my God. What's the feeling from that ankle lock? After ropes. Big kick. 
This could be it! Oh, a brutal big kick to Holm Angle's chin! It is! And Here it comes! It's all that bang! Oh this could be it! God, no! This could be this over! It. It's all over! There's no getting back up from that! He's not getting up! And Martin's no, up the tap! Slithering up the cage! Hollow Mangle's not getting up this time, I don't fear it! Slithering up the cage! Hollow Mangle, no! Martin's up the tap! And it's over! Yeah, and it's over! Nothing he can do about it, no! He just never recovered for that, that attack! He never recovered for that under it. Weeks, weeks of injuries piling up, piling up, holding home, like dragging home angle to his grave. He's been screwed again. That's unbelievable. That's terrifying. The money in is indeed Martin's. He looks hurt. Being stuck in that ring with home angle, even Mad Martin's been pushed to his absolute end. That's it. Just it's silence in this arena. It's silence, they can't believe it. They'd be, they'd you can be hear okay. On anniversary. They'd be, they'd be okay that uh, Lapdog wins. I guess it's what pays to have the corrupt management in your pocket. The money is indeed Martin's. Another week, another attack. Well, we're back just like old times there, Willie. Sorry for being a prick. I'm sorry for fucking your wife. Ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> Time for our main event, everybody. <laughs> and Hall Mangle screams for the ring, rotten. Another week and our defeat. And his chance to be in the elimination chamber in chamber. Yeah, his chance to be in the elimination chamber. Gone. And here we go. Our main event, John T. Morton and Master Dave shake hands versus the champion. The, the undisputed, the top of the mountain, Master Dave. What? What a cage match. Alex, that cage match went half an hour last night. I'm glad. Oh, God. <laughs> I sat there like that. And here they go. The main event. Master Dave, two of the nice guys, looking at it. It's an honourable match. Is there any way the referee can ruin this one for us? <laughs> oh, we want to see. <laughs> Damn, there's blows for your, uh, John T. Morton there. And he's in behind Master Dave. Oh, a back. heavy blow to the back of the neck. We're just trading blows. We're being respectful. There's, I think they're just feeling each other out right now. Get, get, get an understanding of what they're up against. It's got him in a hold. What's the referee looking at? It doesn't look like the referee's paying attention. <laughs> I'm not sure where. That, that, that hold will have exhausted John T. Morrison there. I've still drained so much of his energy. Wonderful like, ring work from Master Dave there. Throws him into the Good, corner. Beautiful manoeuvres. Textbook. Classic default style. She's in the back of the heat, just work in the back of the heat. Try to daze John T. Morton. Bops him. Oh, nice. It's just the, the, the unrivaled textbook energy for Master Dave in his default style. The, the reason he's our champion, he's just, he's a, he's a wrestling perfectionist. I've just heard backstage that uh, Hollow Mango is raging with that result and he has stormed out of the arena. He has, he has left the arena. Looks like Barbecue Kings will be getting a couple customers tonight, Darren. <laughs> oh, and Master Dave, he just, he really has mastered default style. I must John, be wondering, has perhaps John T. Morton put himself out of his depth by challenging the champion? He, he wanted a shot at him. He did, but, but was he ready? But the rules were, they, it couldn't be a title shot. It just couldn't, it, that was just a, that was what John apparently said. It's a test. He just wants to test himself. He wants to oh, go. finally, a little, some assault from John T. Morton there. Master Dave wasn't expecting such dirty play. You know how much he likes to fight in the ring, in the center of the ring with pure wrestling. He is pure wrestle to his core. Dave, John T. Morton's just trying to work it all out. How to beat default style. 
Oh, but default style has everybody's number. It's just, it's the fundamental, it's the core of all wrestling. And again, just this dominant performance for the champion. This could be it. Uh, it's a reversal! Oh, John, John D. Borden escaped demise there by the skin of his teeth. He smelt the default DDT. Master Dave's finisher. Finally, John T. Borden got a chance. He did. He need to keep. He need to capitalize on this he's, now. He's, he's put. He's put Master Dave back outside the ring just to get a bit of fresh air. But Dave's back in like a little, like a whippet. Yes, he is the the weasel, the ferret. John's <laughs> just trying to keep him. Out. He's trying to get a bit of air. John D. Borden is the. He's, he's, he's scared of the. As Master Dave is the weasel of the division. He hunts out snakes and he bites them in their holes. Because he's he's our champion and he takes no, he takes nothing for granted. You're all beautiful, stopping momentum. Oh, wonderful maneuver from John D. Morton. Wonderful, wonderful. We need to see more of that from him if he's going to stand a chance against the master, against the champ. Oh, exchanging heavy blows from blows at each other. They moves. They just. I don't know. I don't, I don't think they want to hurt each other. Some stamps there for John. Getting a little angry, maybe. Can't put this ball. He's been dominated. Right, right. Try to throw him back out. Low on energy. Just try to get a breather. Try to get away from him. Yep, he puts him back out. The amount of, the amount of damage um, the Master Dave may have taken from being thrown from the safe ring to that terrifyingly hard concrete outside of the ring. And you put, like, John D. Moore just trying to take advantage of the momentum he's created. Oh, it's a nice, it's a nice, it's a nice. Approach. Unbelievable. John's really tired, but he's still finding the energy. I guess this is the fight that John saw in him in the backstage for for a fellow name brother. He blocked. Nice scoop slam there for John. John's on Champions the Champions finally, finally feeling a bit of danger. When this turned to John, looking dominant. Nice. Ooh. Now John T. Morton has the momentum. Could he capitalize that momentum and no? Nope. It's a re oh, great no. reverse there. It's oh. a boot. That's right. Boom! Default style. There's the champion. Now he's he might go for John T. Morton. Let his chance slip for his fingers. Thank you, has oh, one. Pin. There's nothing more default than that. And the champ wins. Oh. Oh. Master, Master Dave dominated that, there. That's our champion right there. That's what it looks like at the top of the card, ladies and gentlemen. John, John gave, gave as good as he could give, but the champ won. Great win. What a, what a main event. What a show of force. What a great win for Master Dave there. He, he showed why he is the master of default style. And also why he's our undisputed champion of the company. He pulled it back at the end like a champ does. Found the energy, he knows what it takes. It was a brave attempt from John T. Morton, but also he wasn't ready to, to reach the top of the mountain. What are we having here? What's this? What an incredible show with it, didn't it? It has been an incredible show, Willie. Whoa, what's this? No, John, don't. John, don't. Come on, what's this? He offers his horn. He stuck it. And it's a handshake. That's, that's a good shot. A nice, honorable show from John T. Morton. That's there. respect. That's, that's respect, respect for our champion. John, John T. Morton, a good egg. He's a good egg. And Master Dave likes, just, he likes anyone who would love to give him an honest match in the middle of the ring. Fighting champion. The Weasel, Master Dave. That was a good, that was a good, great match. Great show of respect. I love, I love it. You don't see that enough. What? What's this? What's the LH? Oh, thing? no. What's this? LH? What's oh, this? My oh, no. God. Disgusting. Oh. That's just, oh, just like this company. Oh, I can't believe. Two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row, he's, he's attacked him. I can't yeah, believe that. What a win from the champ, Dave. 
And a great effort from John D. Morton. And a cowardly attack from that punk hell. I hope Dave gets a chance to smoke him. Me too. Well, that's tonight's show. And what a show our go-home show will be on Wednesday. Then next Sunday, the Big Buck Lock-In and PPV live from the Glasgow Hydro, 7pm. Willie, it's been a blast. Can you give me a lift in? Looks like we're not done here, Alex. One more, two more things, I feel. Well, I really... Alex. <laughs> Willie Bowles. <sighs> ah. Good night, everybody. <laughs> he beat you up, and then he got left him. <laughs> oh my god! And there's uh, there's Willie Pierce, Sh Willie Pierce showing a shape. <laughs> He's away. Listen. Who booked him? <laughs> 